Hi, I'm Amber at the Fresno Chappie Zoo and welcome to World Turtle Day. We have some bio facts in front of you. These are bio facts that are biological artifacts that we use in our educational programs. So we bring them out on World Turtle Day so we can educate you a little bit about turtles. Sea turtles are the only reptile that lives most of its life in the ocean. I say most because they do sometimes come onto land to lay their eggs. Sea turtles lay their eggs on land, um, but they're not very good at walking on land. So if you've ever seen a video of a sea turtle mom coming up onto shore to lay her eggs, you've noticed that they look kind of awkward. It's because they have flippers that are specially adapted for swimming, not walking. Um, so when they come onto land, they just lay their eggs and then they leave. They never come back um, to visit their babies. Their babies are actually hatched, fully formed and ready to swim out in the ocean. Um, so they don't need any maternal care. However, the mother will return to the exact same beach every time she needs to lay eggs. And that beach where she lays her eggs is the same beach where she herself hatched, which is pretty amazing. And it is helpful to know that those beaches are protected and those animals are protected when they're on shore. So you can't go close to them if, um, if a sea turtle is up there having its babies. All right. Next to the sea turtle, we have a red-eared slider. Many people have red-eared sliders as pets. Turtles do make um, pretty cool pets because they eat uh, plants and animals, and um, they don't. These red-eared sliders don't get super big, so they're pretty easy to care for. But guess what? They can live a long, long time. Um, so if you get a pet turtle, you have to be prepared for the long haul. Uh, they can live many, many, many years. Uh, so if you got one when you were a little kid, you could have it to pass on to your kids. They might even live that long. Okay, so this is the red-eared slider and this is the uh, sea turtle. These are both turtles, which means they are more adapted for water than on land. Um, these shells right here that you can see are also turtle shells. This is just the bone. So turtles have that hard shell on their back and on their bellies and it is actually bone. It's modified rib bones, which you can kind of see right here, going like this. So this is the bone underneath the skin. The skin you can see here on this shell is a scoot. The scoot is the, the individual shape, these little uh, straight edge shapes. This, each one is a scoot. So this is a scoot and that's a scoot and that's a scoot. Um, but it's the skin of the turtle. And the turtle, when they grow, they do grow on these lines right here. So the scoot of the shell gets bigger and bigger and bigger, but the scoot itself will shed off. This is from a much bigger turtle, but it's a thin skin that grows over the top and then a new skin grows underneath. And when this one is too small, it'll shed off like that and with new skin underneath. Here we have some box turtle eggs and this is what a whole bone scoot might look like if you wanted to um, look at it when you're here in person. So this is um, the inside where the body is and this is the outside where the skin and shell is. So it's kind of thin. It's not as thick as a lot of people expect and it has lots of blood flowing to it and the turtle can totally feel it when you touch their shell. Here we have a box turtle shell which is a very small kind of turtle. These turtles are unique in that they can close their shell. So this turtle can go all the way inside its shell, including its legs and its head. And it does that with a special hinge on the bottom of its body. So this one can close up really tight on the front and the back, and um, he stays nice and safe inside, which is pretty good for such a tiny little turtle. So they don't get super big. They stay kind of small. All right, but one turtle that doesn't stay very small is the Galapagos, which we have this massive shell next to us. So this is a Galapagos tortoise shell, and it is big. Galapagos tortoises are the biggest type of tortoise on land. Now they're not the biggest kind of turtle, but they are the biggest kind of one that goes on land. Tortoises are special kinds of turtles that spend most, if not all, of their life on dry land. 
They're specially adapted to desert habitats, um, and they don't drink very much water. Tortoises also have big, thick, truncated legs. That's a special word that we use just for turtles that are tortoises. And their legs look like big tree trunks. And it helps hold their big, massive shell up and off of the ground. Tortoises also usually have a big dome kind of shell, whereas most of the turtles, when you see them, they have a much flatter, uh, narrower shell. The shell is made up of two parts. This big dome part that covers the top of the turtle is called a carapace. And the part on the bottom that is the flat side underneath the turtle is called the plastron. Galapagos tortoises uh, are native to the Galapagos Islands, which have lots of special animals on them. And all of those animals live on islands that have lots of special adaptations. Here at the zoo, we have a couple of kinds of Galapagos tortoise. We have our big guy, Nobby, and uh, you can see him in some of our other videos and other places. He's getting a specialized habitat rebuilt for him right now. And we have some program animals that are Galapagos tortoises. So they're much smaller, so we can move them around still. If we wanted to move a big guy like this, we just have to encourage him to come along with a carrot maybe. Um, so those are our bio facts. Thank you so much for coming to World Turtle Day at the Fresno Shaffy Zoo.